Avi Nash stars in the highly anticipated series Silo coming to Apple TV Plus starting on May 5th. Avi, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, thanks, man. I, you know, they got me locked in a room. So I'm they got you locked in the room. So you got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Between The Walking Dead and Silo, people love seeing you in this post-apocalyptic mm -hmm. world. Talk a little bit about, about that. I don't know. I guess like the public likes to see me suffer. I don't know. You got, I'm going to have to ask the internet why they always want to see me running around uh, surviving. Um, I, you know, look, they're, they're both post-apocalyptic shows, but, but they're really different. I think The Walking Dead was all about survival and these people are from our world, our day, you know, and, and they're trying to get back to that and the semblance of that. And they're just trying to make it to the next day and silo, um, they're born and for generations have been in this silo and that's their reality. And as far as they're concerned, that's what it's always been. And that's what it will always be. And, you know, in many ways, the silo, it's a perfect utopia. You know, there's no crime and poverty and there's no homelessness and everybody has a job and they have a function. Um, but, you know, the human spirit and human curiosity cannot always be sort of kept in the dark. And so, that's what starts to create the, the, the cracks and the inkling that maybe there's something else to, to why they're here. Exactly. Let's talk a little bit about the character of, of Lucas. Tell us a little bit about, about him. Lucas is a, he's a dreamer and he is somebody that brings hope to, to the darkness of this dystopia. You know, he's, he's a lover. He's not a fighter. Did you, did you go back in and read the books? Oh, you, you know, you, you always want to make a character your own, but you to make it your own just means, I think, to bring truth to it. Um, and I think as an actor, you you want to steal from everybody and everything you can. And so, yeah, I read the books to sort of pick up clues about Lucas and the script had other clues. And then you get on the set and the way Rebecca looks at you gives you even more clues, you know, and you you react to that and you sort of you you're always building, you know, you're always sort of painting um and discovering new things at least hopefully you know that's the that's the plan an incredible ensemble in this in this series you just mentioned rebecca as far as chicago's own comet david oyelowo rashida <laughs> Jones. i mean there's so many people harry walker we just you know we just chatted with i mean i know Are you, sure I mean, you, want want to to everybody. you gotta you gotta go interview those guys it's, <laughs> yeah, it's incredible you know it's I, i'm really really fortunate to be on a project like this that i think is so big and and creates such an immersive world and is also supported by this amazing ensemble you know every day i go to work i get to learn something from from another wonderful masterful actor um who are also good people you know and and i think at the end of the day you want to spend time with people that are passionate that inspire you and, and i get to do that Especially being a, a, a fan of the books and you know anticipating this this new series, I love the way that we're going to get a couple episodes on May fifth, but making it more mainly appointment television that you can't just stream it all ten episodes in one day. You kind of have to let the episodes sink in and then anticipate the following week. Talk a little bit about about that theory of, of watching shows that way. I think it's the best way because I think it's the dialogue that's created in the space in between with you and your mates where you kind of go, what do you think is going to happen? And did you see that? And I really, that's, that's the part that blew my mind and how is it going to evolve and what's going to happen to this character? And you need that space when you, I think when you cram it all into, you know, midnight to 6am and you're just shoving Cheetos in your mouth, it's hard to, it's hard to let the weight and the gravity and the journey of the storytelling really pull you along, you know, and, and also something like this, which is about mystery and the truth uh, being held from us and how we relate to all of that. You know, I think a slow drip is what you want. It's too much to take in all at once. Oh, exactly. Well, we cannot wait for the show. May 5th is we're going to get a first couple of episodes there. Silo on Apple TV Plus. Avi, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, man. Nice to talk to you. You too.